Now, the 13th series of Dancing on Ice has been a little bit unlucky this year, hasn't it? Covid cases, some pretty brutal injuries putting a stop to this Sunday's live show. But fans will still get their fix of rink action in a special celebration this weekend. But can somebody turn the sprinklers on, please, and call me <laughs> Kiss. Oh, the Todd Carty one is my favourite of all time. <laughs> because when you watched it, Jane and Chris are here, obviously, was that you weren't sure whether that was just him being funny and it was like a clown move, or whether it was an act. I mean, that was the great joy of watching him, in a way, was that he sort of covered it, right, uh, Chris? Yeah, no, it was it was choreographed to make it look like he was um, having a bit of a trouble stumbling off the ice. But the fact is, it was a real trouble, really stumbling, and <laughs> a big horizontal fall as he exited. Yeah, no, it was uh, well acted out. It was brilliant, wasn't it? I mean, Jane, how gutted are you that, you know, you can't do the live show this weekend? Yeah, we were all sad because it, everyone has worked so hard um, trying to put the show on in the first place and everything, you know, every week there was something happening. Um, but on the positive side, um, all of our celebrities will have an extra week to work on their routine. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing some great routines when we come back. So the pressure will be on actually, won't it? You'll be thinking, hang yeah. on, you've had two weeks here. Except of course, Jason's was, was gonna come out anyway because he's got a sore back. Do we, you know, we've got a th you know, this is a big signing for the show. It probably, you know, one yeah. of the biggest draws to the show. Certainly when it was announced, I was like, oh my God, you've got Jason Donovan, I could not believe it. Yeah. So how is he? You know, everyone's asking, Chris, how, how is he doing? Well, he's rested up and he's uh, getting back to fitness and all being well, we will see him next week. You know, he's, um, He's loving the show, he's loving what he's doing, and he's passionate to get back. So we're excited to see him back on the ice very soon. And so, you know, this year, I can't tell from one year to the next whether the injuries seem to be more or worse this year or what's going on. Obviously, there's been a couple of people who've had to pull out because of COVID, which I think has probably tipped the show off air, if you know what I mean. If it wasn't for that, you might have been yeah. able to carry on. But are these injuries, I mean, the jeopardy is part of what we love about it, but has it been slightly worse this year? It feels like it has. Um, uh, I think, I think it, go on, Jay. I think Sorry, it feels like it. I don't think um, it's any more um, than normal. Um, you know, it's just been reported maybe a little bit more. But having said that, uh, we've got a great team that look after everybody and, and getting back everybody back to fitness. And it's one of the things that you know injuries and you know you've got to expect it in a way, but um, in, and in a way I suppose it shows how hard you're working, Jay. You know, if you're not it, if you're not sort of getting a bit of a tumble here and there, you're maybe not pushing yourself hard enough. Yeah, that's what we always uh, we have this little saying like, if you're not falling, you're not trying. Yeah. Um, but but in in that respect, we don't want people to uh, push themselves too far that they do get injured. We're always taking precautions with that and giving advice. Um, but you know, the, as Chris said, you know that we always have some injuries, and we always say to our reserves, don't don't. Um, think that you won't be in the show because nearly every season yeah. we end up using one and this year we've used both reserves. I mean, are you two on that list? Because that's what we all want to see. <laughs> <laughs> we probably you know, should be his partner, do you mean, if it wasn't the two of you together? <laughs> we've had our fair share. I've had my fair share anyway. <laughs> but having said that, I think, you know, the, the show that's going out on Sunday, um, just seeing some of those highlights yeah. just now. Can we see it again, um, Ralph, our we, we, director? Can we play it again? Come on, carry on, Chris. We 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 watched it um, as we were putting it together, and it just put a smile on I mean, our Ray faces. Quinn was um, incredible, wasn't so he? We're exciting. just seeing him there. <laughs> yeah, but if, if you um, if you like Dancing on Ice, you're going to see all the highlights, all the the falls, the comedy moments. Um, oops, Gemma. <laughs> Gemma <laughs> gave us a lot well. of fun and she was, you know, good um, 
good about that, as was, as was Todd. You yeah. Know, he, um, he came back out and just acted it out. It was great. And look, and at, then look at these two some... amateurs. Look at those two, eh, at the end of that. <laughs> no, but listen, it's amazing. 37 <laughs> years uh, since you, you won the Olympic, yeah. Jane. I suppose the question is, how do you two keep your bodies going? Because we, obviously we see all these interviews. You two are a miracle of science, aren't you? I mean, I just, I don't know how you've, you know, your bodies are still, you know, right at their peaks, I would say. Um, well, we feel very lucky that we're still able to do what we love doing, um, you know, whilst we can. We want to cherish every moment, really, um, and appreciate it. And I think the fact that we have kept going, um, we've always kept ourselves in good shape. We're very aware of what we eat and, you know, we're always uh, doing uh, gym to build up stamina. Um, but the actual skating itself keeps you very fit. Yeah, we, and we we try to do age appropriate skating as well now. What's age appropriate? What's age appropriate skating? <laughs> well, when you see a skate, that's age appropriate. <laughs> Is it? And that's interesting. You know, I suppose you always get the question. You know, when will be will there be a a finale, a last uh, dance? And yeah. is that quite an emotional thought for you both to think that that will come eventually? Yeah, I think we're, you know, uh, what we're doing now is appreciating every time we get a chance to perform because we know we're in our twilight and we're getting close to that time uh, when it will be the last performance. We, we don't know when it will be, um, but, you know, after 37 years, you know, at the beginning of your career, it's such an adventure in the mountains to climb. Uh, but now I think we're just enjoying what we can do when we can do it. And so Dancing on Ice is sort of this huge outlet for us to be able to still perform and, and get out there and, and hopefully entertain people. And Jane, why do you think we haven't had another Torval and Dean? I mean, we don't want to, but you know, do you know what I mean? It's an interesting <laughs> question. You remain our beacons of hope 37 years on and yet we haven't had another one, you know? Yeah, I think um, it's just, it's, uh, having the facilities, um, having, you know, um, a team and having uh, something set in place. A lot of sports have a grassroots level and they bring their um, athletes all the way through. Um, I think we are trying that, um, but at the moment it's not been successful. So there is probably a missing link somewhere. Yeah. And then, of course, it's very money. sadly at the moment, all competitions... Um, on any levels are being suspended and we do have some talented youngsters in, indeed the little piece you saw there there was two young skaters that were joining mm -hmm. us in that piece and they are super talented you know so we, we do have the talent there but you know one day it will happen well, uh, we look forward to when the show comes back, uh, not this weekend, but of course the weekend after. And the team here are, are suggesting that if you are really scraping the barrel, you could have me. But I'm, this is not, I mean, this is not a good look for me, I'm telling you now. I could barely dance on normal, on a normal floor. Get your skates out, we never know. Yeah, I mean, that, then you really show. are desperate. Listen, um, good luck to everybody on the team. We want you back. And the highlight show... We will uh, be back. Dancing on Ice, the greatest show on ice, is this Sunday at 6pm on ITV. Always a joy to have you on the show. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.